Right, welcome back. The Mijikenda sacred forests risk being delisted from the World Heritage Sites if no mitigation measures are taken to save them. The forests, commonly referred to as Kaya, have increasingly come under threat from prospectors, miners and loggers, threatening what has long been the nucleus of the Mijikenda community. Ferdinand Damondi reports. Solemn drum beats and singing on the edges of Kayawa in Kwale. It has always been respected by the Meiji Kenda as the nucleus of their existence, allowed by residents as sacred ground and protected by the world as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Until now, a new breed of devastating capitalists have encroached into the forests, logging mining, sand harvesting, and even constructing permanent structures. Chairman of the Mijikenda Kayas, Abdallah Mnyenze, is stunned. Kaya kwanza misitu, inadeta wa mvua. Misitu na miti mingine ya maidawe patikani, inapatikana humunda ni kaya. Kuna viumbe hai vingine. Kama kurobasi kani awa patikani, inapatika misitu ya kaya. Locals regard the Kaya forests as a source of spiritual power. Ancient shrines are located in the forests, most of which are accessible to none other than the elders themselves or for community rituals. The Kayas are also preserved original settlements as constructed by the Mijikenda ancestors hundreds of years ago. UNESCO grouped the Kayas and declared them part of the World Heritage Sites. The sacred forests have mainly been protected by dark superstition with beliefs like cutting down a tree could cost you your life but a new breed of loggers have called the bluff and gone in a logging rampage kaya elders are decrying the destruction of their shrines saying they are not able to communicate with their gods anymore mvua wazee walikuwa wakikusanyika wakija wakitoa zaka zao hapa wakitoa kafara zao wakiomba mvua wakiondoka mvua inanyesha walikuwa wakitoa kafara zao kama kuna maradhi ambayo yameingia na maradhi yale hayajulikani walikuwa wakija sehemu hii wakifanya tambiko zao maradhi yanaepuka na pia ina makaburi yetu ambayo yeye tupata shida tunakuja kufanya maombi sasa kaya ikikatwa hivi ni kama mtu aliyekata kichwa changu kusema kweli Kaya Okunda is one of the forests that have been affected by land grabbing. According to Hamisi, appetite for land close to the beach has been the biggest problem. Beach land is prime property with an acre fetching tens of millions of shillings. The elders are pointing accusing fingers at Kuala's local administration for allowing developers to have access to the Kayas and put up structures with their approval. Kama mnavyoyona Kaya hii, sehemu ina mzungu ambaye kwa sasa amekata pori ameishi humo ndani amewahi kupewa pia stakabadhi za kuwa asimamishe shughuli zake zote katika msitu huu lakini amepuza anaendelea the same predicament has befallen Kayawa whose land ownership is in contention some of the kayas especially the kayas that are along the beach line uh, Kayawa uh, kaya Diani, Kaya Ukunda, Kaya Kinondo, even Kaya Chale, the land was subdivided during the uh, county council era. And uh, this area, although gazetted as national monument, they are privately owned. And uh, specifically in some of the Kayas, like Kayawa, Kaya Kauma in Kilifi, and Jibana in Kilifi also, whereby uncontrolled uh, artisanal mining is threatening the existence of the uh, uh, biodiversity uh, hotspots. Over 50 kayas dot the coastal strip spanning well over 300 hectares. Cutting of trees, grazing and clearing for farmland is strictly prohibited. Locals have largely obeyed the rules for fears of reprisal from the spirits believed to roam the kayas. The shrines are places for prayer not only by the elders on behalf of the community but also by individuals seeking divine intervention. This fact explains why many coastal politicians have so much attachment to the kayas or seek approval from Kaya elders ahead of political vocations. But now, the Kaya elders feel shortchanged by political leaders. Mwatsuma Kalama says they have been acting as Askaris to protect the Kayas without government support. Kalama is now asking the county government to step in and help play a role in its conservation. Katika hali ya kutaarisha petition, 
ambayo tutaipeleka kwa county government kwa zile relevant uh, departments uh, na pia tutapeleka kwa ministry of uh, nini lands sisi tuna heshima serikali na serikali iturumie kama ijue kwamba tunanyang'anywa mila yetu tunalibiwa mila yetu <coughs> na tutakubali the World Wildlife Fund is now challenging the country's administration to step up to the plate and restore the dignity of these sites. Farian Mundi, KTN, Kwale.